After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. For the last 10 or so years, uh, I've been involved in training our staff. Uh, I've been able to teach people searches and search techniques, uh, defensive tactics, uh, to make them more prepared so that any situation we encounter, hopefully we'll do the right thing and get through there safely for everybody. Kill me now. You deserve my name. You bitch ass mother. So tell me what's going on with Ryan. Uh, he was brought in by Salt Lake City PD for urinating at the club into a sink, and then he started fights with the bouncers and things like that. So he's really agitated. Okay. Well, it sounds like he's uh, getting upset, so we'll just have to be careful with this one. All right. Where, where, where? Hey, Ransom. Turn around. Yeah. Face the mat. There you go. Relax. Where's your feet? There you go. Perfect. You been drinking today? Yes, I've been drinking! Hey, I ain't fighting you, why you fighting me? Relax! Brian. I am relaxed. Hey, why aren't you relaxed? Calm down. You been drinking today? Yes! How much? A lot. OK. You been here before? No! Can you calm down? Yes! OK, then calm down, bud. I am calm. Would you stop yelling? Yes! Hey, yeah, they just touched my balls. I felt they touched my balls again. It felt good, I'm not gonna lie. I like All right. Hey, thanks for serving America. Good job. Good job, America. Hey, good job, America. Okay, we're gonna be using this tether to, oh, uh, I tether. to remove your, yeah, to tether, remove your jacket, okay? So tether me, because I'm so Hold aggressive. On, tether me, because I'm such a harm against America. Hey, Ryan, you need to relax. I am relaxed. Am I fighting nice. you? Am I punching you in the face? Make sure we adjust those hands. Yeah, yeah, readjust it. Readjust it, because I'm such a harm to humanity. If you think I'm a harm, if you think I'm an endangerment, no, you're doing all going to burn. You're all going to burn. You're doing great, Ryan. Just yeah, I'm relax. doing great. Because I didn't fight it. Walk back. Yeah, it hurt me, mother <laughs> Hurt me. Ryan, I got a Ryan, I walk, OK? Oh, walk I'm backwards. walking. I'm walking backwards. Thank you. Thanks, me. Ryan. No. Yeah, thanks. 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 My brother's a cop. He's hurting me. I ain't hurting you. You guys are hurting me. I'm hurt. hurt. So. Yeah, throw me. Throw me. In the corner of me, right. Right here, Ryan. Right here, Ryan. OK, lift up your foot. OK, Ryan, listen up, bud. You're going to back up. You're going to pull your arms through the cuff port so you can remove these cuffs from you, OK? So bend your knees, pull your arms out. All right, walk inside, bud. I want to leave. I didn't do anything wrong. Hey, Ryan, all you need to do is sober up a little bit. We'll get you out and, tell you, and let you know exactly what's going on with you, OK? Yeah, I So am keep sober. doing exactly what you're doing, and we'll get you out here in a little bit and uh, get you booked in. Crowther. Yep, Crowther. Hey, Crowther. I know a lot of Crowthers. <laughs> Should I just go sit down? Yeah, that would be a good thing to do. Thanks, Ryan. As soon as he uh, sobers up a little bit more, he'll be ready to get out and go through the process. Uh, he seems like just got a little bit too uh, rambunctious with the alcohol tonight. Check on Ryan and see how he's doing. Seems like he's calmed down a little bit. Ryan, you doing a little bit better? Uh, okay, we'll get you down to another cell and get you booked in, OK? Uh, All right, thanks, Ryan. Uh, Ryan, stand up, please. Yeah, stand up so the nurses can check you, Ryan. 
Whoa, careful, guy. Careful. Just back up, Just back up a little bit. You're all right. No, other way, other way, other way. Come towards us. You've been drinking today? Yeah. I fight for freedom. What okay. do you fight for? Freedom, too. Me, too. I want to just be a safe citizen. Okay. Don't try and hurt anyone. Looks like Ryan has uh, cooperated with nurse checks, and we'll be moving him down to a drum tank here shortly. Another hour or two, we'll get him through the booking process, and we'll get him out of here as quick as we can. charge of the reception floor and the booking counter. So basically making sure that everybody's safe and searches and things like that when they come in. Some of the skills it takes care. working down here, I'd say the most foremost is uh, being patient. Honestly, that's huge. And safety practices. We just got a call about a female combative. Um, they should be here any time now. They want us to meet them in the Sally Port. What's your name? Karen. She, she just very, very, very drunk and very angry. So she's not. She, we, had to, we had to carry her down the stairs to get her. So uh, she charged with criminal mistreatment. She hit a kid. Uh, she's been drinking as well. She's, she's way drunk. No, I don't. I don't like to be. Don't push me. Got a couple standard questions. Take these things off me. That's not the answer. Are you uh, diabetic? No. Are you suicidal? Yes. Where and I'm totally drunk, OK? You already know that. Yeah, that I know, but that's not one of the questions. Where take these things off my. Don't take my earrings. All this stuff gets put in your property, and you'll get it when you get released. Peter. Well, that's not nice that you threw my pearls. Take these off me. I want to take these off my glasses, Well, get them to you. Just relax. See. We're taking you out of the car right now, OK? And do not mess with those pearls. Give me the right hand first. Can I have my glasses, please? OK, listen. Let us do our job. We're going to let you get your glasses on so you can see what's happening. I'm not trying to stop you from seeing, OK? I didn't I'm do excuse it. Me. Sorry, Just. What do you mean they're smudged? They're smudged. They're in there, so you can't even tell. I know. And you have my pearls. Don't mess with those pearls, please. We're not. They're going to go in your property. You'll get them when you get released. Now we're going to have to take your glasses off, because you can't have your glasses while you're in the cell, especially since you said you were suicidal. OK? So I'm just going to take them off. I need, I need, I need, I need, I need my glasses. I can't. Turn around and have a seat right here. We can give you a chance to sober up. I need to ask you a question. When you first came in, you said you were feeling suicidal. Do you, do you really feel that way today? No, no. I really just want to go home and sleep in my own bed. I don't, I, I don't want to be left in, like, this kind of room. So am I technically arrested, or? You are now in custody of the Multnomah County Sheriff's yes, Office. OK. And I have some concerns, because you mentioned suicide. I'm hoping you were just upset. I'm going to touch base with medical. I want to go home. I, I want to go home. And we're going to work in that direction. I'm going to look and find out where your property is at, and I'll get back with you and let you know what's happening. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. What was Karen's charges? Uh, she's here for mistreatment one, assault three, and harassment. Gotcha. She's in ISO right now. She was talking about she was going to hurt herself, so. She's now on suicide watch. Okay. So just give your heads up. All right. Thank you. Right here on this wall. Look up your name. So listen, do you know why you're in an isolation cell? Because I'm crazy. Because your behavior was less than desirable. Okay. okay. I... Do, do you think that if you're allowed to come out of this cell that you can conduct yourself appropriately? Yes. Yes. So you don't want to hurt yourself then? No. OK, here's your glasses. Thank you. Stand up. We're ready. When you come, stop, stop, stop moving. When you come out of this room, I want you to, when you come, stop moving. Listen to what I'm saying. Put your shoes on. Is there any so you hear what I'm saying? Cigarette? No cigarettes. You're going to get your picture taken. But 
I'm the one that called the cops to Already. come to my house. I got you. So why am I being the arrested one with black fingerprint things on? So look over here at the blue eyes, okay. right? Okay. You Keep your glasses on. Just looked on the computer, found out that Karen actually is not going home tonight. Probably going to court tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon um, and be arraigned by the judge. This is basically when she's formally told of her charges. Uh, the intake area here in Sarasota County. We get a different plethora of people that come through here. A lot of agitated people sometimes. A lot of times people are uh, pretty calm and it's easy to deal with, but for the most part, it is a pretty stressful job. You gotta deal with a lot of different people and their attitudes and stuff like that. I don't wanna do that, please. Have a seat. No, can I, can I get some water, please? Have a seat. Sit down. You stay seated. You understand me? Just relax. Okay. I've told you like seven times. Just relax. Okay. They're going to take That's care of you. my right. This is jail, sir. I know, but this I This is not the street. I got OK, my when rights. somebody in here tells you to sit down, you need to have a I seat. Have when we tell you to do wrong. something, you need to do it. All right? I have done anything wrong. Do we have an understanding? I have done anything wrong. OK, right now, I have no idea what you're arrested for. I know. All right, so you, so you need to sit there and relax. All right? All right. Oh, he's got a warrant for us? Yeah, he's got a warrant out of the SO. He's Go figure. We're so I've resisting like, officer. I've, I've explained it to him like 15 times. Does he just not understand English? or is he... No, he, he goes from being cooperative to belligerent to cooperative to be belligerent. So I don't have a warrant. Yes, you do, sir. It's right, it's right here. here. Resisting officer obstruction without violence. That's what your warrant's for. No, I have it. I have it right here. You have a $750 bond, OK? Please. Sir, step over here for me. All right, I said that. Step over here. For what? Because I told you to. What, did we just not have this conversation? We just had this conversation, right? Yeah. When somebody in here tells you something that you need to do, you need to get up and do it, correct? All right, so I'm asking you to stand up and step over here in front of this window. No, wait for it. OK, you have one more opportunity to stand up. I have to conduct a pat down on you. So you can either stand up over, uh, under your own power and walk over here so I can do my job, or I'll stand you up your, by myself. But I want to know why I got to stand up, you know? All right, you want to play this way? We're going to play this way, all right? Stand up. Now you want to stand up. Step over here and face this window. Step over here and face the window. How much you had to drink tonight, man? Spread your feet. A few beers, you know? I don't you sure? Because you're reeking of alcohol. I know, but you know I'm free. You obviously speak good English, so I know you understand us. Why are you giving us such a hard time right now? I'm not giving that time. You sure? Because I had to ask you right. 10 times to stand up. I'm not have to be here. He's had to ask you seven or eight times to sit down when you came in the facility. We don't have any discretion. You have to be arrested under your active warrant. No, okay? But I haven't done everything they asked me for. All you can so. do at this point is just relax. I have any warrant on me. You know that. I respect you, you know? Well, you're not doing a very good job of it right now. You're going to step right over that door. It says photo ID and fingerprint. Okay. Have a seat on that stool right there. All right. What size shoes do you wear? Well, I don't know. You don't know what size shoes you wear? No, I don't think so. Sir, yeah, I highly sure. doubt you're like this sober. I haven't done anything wrong. But I know my rights. I don't have to do that. Sit down. I know, it's, that's now. Right. Sit down. Listen, okay. I'm, done with, I'm done with you. I'm done. I'm done with you. Right. OK? I'm done. We've told you 15 times to do something, know, and you don't want to do it. I know that's not right. Crack, uh, crack. Which one? Face the wall. <laughs> Lift your left leg back. What is your problem? I have no problem. You sure? I just say that. Because why do we have to tell you to do something 15 times before you do it? Because I know that's Because you're right. drunk. I'm not drunk. You've had yes, way too much to drink. All right, you're going to sit in here, and you're going to relax. You understand? I understand. Do yeah. we need to change? OK, that's the first thing you've understood all night. All right. Have a seat on that stool. Back up. Now sit down. When you're ready to address that warrant, let us know, all right? He's making it so much harder than it has to be. He's going to be in there for at least four or five hours. Hopefully, we can get a process here in a little bit. Yeah, he'll sober up, and we'll get to him, I guess, a little bit later. We're going to go over and check on that guy in six, see if we can get him processed. Okay. Hey, how you doing? 
You sober up a little bit? Hey, I see you got your oranges on and everything. You ready to uh, get processed? Yes. All right, stand up. All right, go ahead. Come on, I'm here for me. Come on. There you go. I need both thumbs first, right there, just like that. So how much you have to drink tonight, man? That's it? I mean, you were pretty drunk when you came in here. You don't want to listen to anything I had to say. You do understand that you do have a warrant, right? No, I, that's what I'm asking for. Well, earlier I tried I to explain to you. To. But you, you do, though. The judge has signed a warrant what for your arrest. arrest? It's, it's for the obstruction charge. Unfortunately, we don't have a choice but to arrest you when you have a warrant for you. But coming in here and saying you don't have a warrant and then saying, you know, you can do whatever you want, you didn't want to listen to anybody, you end up getting a holding cell, getting stuck in there. I'm sorry about that. Then you have a seat in the day room, second or third row for me, all right? Good luck to you, sir. Unfortunately, when people come in here and they don't want to listen to what we have to tell them, they ended up going to a holding cell and costing themselves four or five hours. But now he'll uh, finish getting processed and he'll be able to bond himself out. I've been with the sheriff's office for a little over 10 years now. When I first started, most crimes involved marijuana or alcohol. Since then, I've seen this progress into more addictive drugs like methamphetamines. You see the crimes get more serious as the drugs and alcohol increased, and uh, they're directly related. All right, what's the story with Daniel's arrest tonight? You know, I went to the house earlier tonight, and a guy made an assault report, and then the homeowner came over and said that uh, he had also stolen her car. So. I show up, the car's sitting in the driveway, and he's sitting at the dinner table, and someone's like, yeah, he's in there eating mac and cheese. Sure enough, I walk in, he's reading his Bible, just waiting for me. Did you know the person that you borrowed it from? Yeah. OK. But they didn't want you to take it, I'm guessing, at this point, since you're here. Uh, yeah? So you took a car, you returned it. Were you just waiting at the residence for the person to return? Were you sitting outside? Uh, just waiting for the cops show up. Why'd you take the car in the first place? Man, I'm trying to get sober right now. From drugs. Yeah. Drugs. And, uh, and uh, God's doing this for me now, so. So you wanted you wanted to come to jail today? Yes. What drugs do you do on the outside? I do meth. How long have you been doing that for? Uh, I've been doing meth for like uh, two years, three years, ever since I got out of the military. It's, uh, it's, it's a horrible thing. So why not just turn yourself into like a treatment center or something? Because it's difficult to admit when you have a problem, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, you—that's kind of what you're doing now, and that, this seems like a much harder way to do it. Well, it's because I got what I wanted now. <laughs> um, we're also going to strip search him. Okay. He, uh, since he knew he was coming to jail, has got admitted to a history of uh, drug use. You don't have any drugs on I don't you, do you? Any drugs on Nothing me? Nothing we need to be concerned no. about. Okay. Sounds like you got a warrant out of Cawville, too. Yeah, for uh, missing a court date. Yeah. You could have simply turned yourself in on that warrant. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that would have saved you a lot of hassle. Would, that would have saved you the felony. Like, time served or something, sent me out, and I'd still be using drugs. Yeah. You know, I would have been in there for three days, and I just would have wanted to get high when I got out, you know? Sure. We're, we ready for him? So don't back that away. So Daniel came in tonight after taking a vehicle from an owner without permission. Uh, he committed the crime so he would get arrested, knowing he would get arrested, in hopes of getting help for his drug addictions. He feels he's run out of options on treatment and was hoping that the courts would help him out with that. Kind of want to get a follow up from you on, uh, you know, why you're here and what you're hoping for. I'm uh, actually I'm hoping to get into the treatment facility, but I don't know. This is just. Have you ever been in one before? No. So the hope is to talk to the judge, talk to pretrial services, and say, hey, I've got a I've got a drug problem. Hopefully, get help from there. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's all about. Getting yeah. Myself clean. 
I just hate to see in the situation because you go out there, you commit a felony that you're going to have to, you know, take responsibility for, and you know, ultimately could wind up being on your record, and that will follow you through the rest of your life. Um, you know, for you to come in here and say I've got a drug problem and go to that extreme to commit a crime to get help uh, it says something. I just hope you follow through with it on that part. But uh, you're young. Now's the time to get a hold of it, get control of it. Okay. Well, best of luck to you. And have a seat back on the red chairs. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. And they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride. Now the night hits my face and it brings me to life. Oh Lord, now I'm out that jail tonight. Another night in my street, another night in my hair. Now I'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair. Now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids. I don't wanna be alone, I gotta get about it. Give me out, just give me out. Give me out, just give me out. Give me out, just give me out. And the doors open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I'm thinking about my own. 